know that uh, talking ill of others in private is a sin you must wholly avoid it many things may occur to the mind but it gradually makes a mountain of mole hill if you try to express them everything ends if you forgive and forget if anybody comes to you for a vain dispute politely withdraw yourself you must express your sympathy with people of all sects when uh, this cardinal virtue will be manifested in you then only you will be able to work with great energy despondency is not religion whatever else it may be by being pleasant always and smiling it takes you nearer to god nearer than any prayer the dwelling place of the jivatman this body is a veritable means of work and he who converts this into an infernal den is guilty and he who neglects it is also to blame see not touch not with your toes even anything that is uncanny if anybody comes to you to speak ill of any any of this uh, any of his brothers refuse to listen to him in to toto it is a great sin to listen even in that lies the germ of future troubles moreover bear with everyone's shortcomings forgive offenses by the million if i do not find bliss in the life of the spirit shall i seek satisfaction in the life of the senses if i cannot get nectar shall i fall back upon uh, ditch water happiness presents itself before man bearing the crown of sorrow on its head he also welcomes it it must also welcome sorrow one may gain political and um, social independence but if he is slave to his passions and uh, desires he cannot feel the pure joy of freedom even the greatest fool can accomplish a task if it be after his heart but the intelligent man is he who can convert every work into one that suits his taste no no work is petty it is struggle against nature and not conformity to nature that makes man what he is never talk about the faults of others no matter how bad they may be nothing is ever gained by that you never help one by telling about his faults but you do him an injury and injure yourself as well he who can properly prepare a chilam of tobacco can also mediate properly the man that has practiced control over himself can cannot be acted upon by anything outside there is no more slavery for him his mind has become free such a man alone is fit to live well in the world the calm calmer we are and the less disturbed for our nerves the more shall we love and the better will our work be you should work like a master and not a slave or incessantly but do not do slave work be unattached let things work let brain centers work work incessantly but let not ripple conquer the mind work of us if you are if you were a stranger in this land a so sojourner work incessantly but also but but uh, do not blind your yourselves bondage is terrible inactivity should be avoided by the by all means resist all evils mental and physical and when you have succeeded in resting then will calmness come to the man who has begun to had himself the gate to degeneration has already open and the same is true of a nation our first duty is not to hat ourselves because to advance we must have faith in ourselves 
first and then in god if there is any we must have faith in ourselves first and then in god if there is any crying sin in your at this time it is the slavery everyone wants to command and no one want to obey and this is owing to the absence of that wonderful brahmacharya system of your first learn to obey the command will come by itself always first learn to be a servant and then you will become fit to be a master